And welcome back to Gen X Toy Box's weekend wrap up. This weekend I hit Ollie's, um, I hit Walmart, I went to my buddy uh, Jason's shop over at Rad's Pop Shop in Goldsboro, and I also hit the Hidden Temple toys. That was pretty uh, interesting, a nice little store. That was a really good one. So since I hit Hidden Temple first, there I bought um, a Transformers G1 top spin. I bought it, yeah, I have a blue one, but kind of cool it's green. I might actually put it out to get even more yellowed by the sun to make it all green. I like it. Pretty cool. Um, little man picked up a Pokemon, I'm going to call it a Charmander set. You know, it's Charmander, Charmeleon, and Charizard. And I also grabbed him a Chansey and Graveler um, little top spinner from... Burger King back in 1999. Um, the older one, the oldest son, has the whole, well, almost the whole set. But for some reason, I couldn't find Graveler for a little one. So picked him a Graveler. Then he told me he had a chance anyway. So next stop was Rad's Pop Shop slash Toy World Order out in Goldsboro. Uh, Jason picked me up a set of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles uh, crossover with uh, Master Universe. So I got my Leonardo, my Donatello, the He Man, and Man at Arms. Um, I really like these. I, I think they're pretty cool. I don't know what the two pieces of armor, like for Man at Arms and uh, Leonardo are. I tried taking the foot off and couldn't fit that piece on there, so I'm not really sure where it goes. Um, I love the fact of Leonardo's sword being two pieces, his two katanas, and they form into what looks like a He-Man sword. It's pretty cool. So I'm really excited for this whole set. Sidetrack back to the turtles. The um, comic books are in there. It's awesome, but we should still have gotten a different comic book in Mouse Jaw, like all the other deluxe Master Universe figures. But my question is, why is Mikey in like the third wave? Like you would think the two turtles in the first wave, then you got Roth in the second wave. Don't get me wrong, I'm super excited about Krang, but I kind of thought it'd have, you know. Roth and Mikey to complete out all four turtles, but we'll have to wait for wave three. Jason also held for me a Captain Carrot from Captain Carrot and his amazing zoo crew. I love this growing up. I thought it was awesome. I can't wait to hopefully McFarlane hear this. Give us pig iron, Yankee poodle, be awesome. But, oh, and rubber duck. I'd love to see a rubber duck. But anyway, the only complaint I have here is where's the carrot? You know, the carrot that gives him the power? Why would you not put the carrot in the box? Maybe one less hand and give me a carrot. But only complain on that. I am so excited about this figure. It looks gorgeous. And on the way home from Goldsboro, I went to the mall, uh, Walmart and I picked up another Mossman so I could actually open one. They're like all out now. They're everywhere. Um just sitting on the shelf as usual so but yeah so i'm glad i picked that up and this morning little man and i went out to ollie's and he loves the mission fleet from star wars the hasbro set so they had a boba fett and a stormtrooper which he didn't have from christmas so we picked those up i'm not sure i like the boba fett backpack looking like the slave one and i think they even call it different now like to buy this the the ship itself is now called fire spray come on but anyway i digress i go hope you guys have a great week um check out the ebay store and we are still on the hunt for the duplico master universe origins figure the walmart exclusive that even walmart doesn't have but their third party sellers can sell it for like four times the amount but I digress. And don't forget to check out my eBay link in the description below and give it a like. And you may see this item and others for sale. Happy hunting.